back to Mala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rache. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. Today's thrift haul comes to you from My Unique. And I got some cool stuff. I must say, you know, it's always a good day when I find some vintage. So I'm just gonna cut till they come through with me and then I'll come back here and show you what I got. I took this bag out today. I spent ton, 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 ton. I was below budget. I know that much. I spent forty dollars and thirty-two cents, and I got quite a few things discounted. I got some of the discount things, so I'm happy about that. So I'll start out with the little knickknacks first, and the first thing I got was this set, and I thought it was so cute. I have some like beauty things in my beauty cupboard that I could definitely use this to rearrange. So that's what I had in mind. So this is a small one and this is a bigger one. Oh, isn't that so cute? So yeah, they are a set and they came just like this. So when I saw them, they're both about $6 for the set. The next thing I got, uh, oh, I only got two. Oh, oh no, I'll show you accessories as well. The next thing I got is this little vintage um, jewelry case and it's a little beaten up, but I did love that this had like a pink suede um, situation. There are a few nicks on it, but it's vintage. So, you know, You'd expect that. This was actually $6.99. The tag is still on this. Let me take this off. Hopefully it doesn't hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and smooth that down. The problem when they put stickers on velvet, it's not the best. Okay, maybe I shouldn't rip it off. It's okay, it's fine. It's vintage, it's fine, it's beaten up, it's okay. <laughs> But yeah, I just love the color of the pink. I love the little gold here. It will be great for traveling, except it's a little, it's a little heavy, um, but still great for like display. What I loved when I opened it, it has these two mirrors here and this little flower. Tell me your vintage without telling me your vintage. <laughs> then here, this is where you have a place for, you know, your rings and earrings. And there's even another section below. So. I just thought this was such a fun little um, jewelry set. You know, back here, you could put like your necklaces or bracelets or something in here. Yeah, just really fun. Yeah, bracelets could probably go in these longer ones right here. That is really fun. But yeah, and I just really like this. Like I said, this and these are the mirrors. That, that, is, that is vintage right there. So 
I got this and it's just so cute. I love it. This could even be like a little clutch, right? <laughs> Wait, can it? Wait, can it? Does it come out? Oh no. The bottom part doesn't come out. If the bottom part came out, then I'm like, oh, 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 clutch, you know? No one sees inside. You could probably still take it as a clutch. <laughs> Maybe not. Next up, so I only got this hat. Um, the green one, I love the color. It went perfectly with my suit. However, it was a little tight for my head. This is also a little tight for my head, but not as tight as the green one. So I thought I'd get this little, you know, very 1920s um, woven raffia thing, you know. Based on my last video, we know how much these can go for. <laughs> and I thought this was just a fun one with the little blue um, stripes going through it. This was $4. The next thing I got is a literal camera bag. You can see right here it says Kodak Extra Tote. So it's legitimately a camera bag. And when I tried it on, I just love the color. I love the style of it. This will be great for like when I'm walking the dog. My phone, I can hold, you know, my keys, anything else can fit in here. And it's just a perfect size. So I thought, especially just slung over my shoulder, just as I had a crossbody, is perfect for when I'm walking the dog. So I thought I'd grab this. This was $5.99, so not bad at all. I love this little vintage bag it is perfection it's so cute it takes me back it takes me I remember seeing like my grandmother was like a little blue and white tote you know in this kind of style I love it now for the clothing the first one of which is this little vintage top so you know I just really like the colors in it you know like when you look at like Gucci and um, other designers, I forgot who else had it. You know, they have these like cabana style shirts. I tried on um, two of the last time I was there and decided to pass on it. But this one is a female blouse. It has shoulder pads. It's vintage. It has dolman sleeves right here. Like, you know, I had to. It's perfect. So this one, <laughs> this one is by Parquet and it's 100% rayon. So it's like really soft, really like sink, slinky. I like the movement in it. Um, it's not a thin rayon. It has some weight on it. So you know it will be nice and durable. But I just really love the colors. This with jeans will be perfect. So I thought I'd just take this. So I completely forgot that I had no jewelry on. So first of all, let's put some jewelry on. I put these clip-ons that I got recently. And this is the blouse. I, When it comes to button-ups, I love buttoning them all the way to the top. So that's what I did here. I just put uh, two thin little necklaces with it just to play up on the high neck. And then I have paired it with this Prada Galleria in the blue because I went for these little pop of pink on the feet. And yeah, so just a nice little relaxed, dressed up day look. <laughs> because, you know, especially when it comes to your dress shoes, I encourage you to wear them on a daily basis dress up a casual outfit and get as much mileage out of your fancy shoes as possible. Put them with jeans and it's a perfect little balance, you know? So I definitely play up on the pinks in this and go with this little satin mules. So yeah, this is how I style it. And the funny thing is, look how perfectly this goes with this shirt. Now, <laughs> you see it plays off on those little dusty rose um, colors in here. That is crazy. Now, if I were to try to play it off as a clutch, the only problem is when the waiter comes or someone wants my purse out of my bag and I have to be like, um, one minute. Because I couldn't let them see what's inside. But this color goes great with it if I wanted to just take it as um, just a little accent piece. And yeah, that is so funny. No, I'm not doing it. 
I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So the next thing I got, so <laughs> when I did my um, Cosmopolitan Summer Trends Challenge for my wardrobe, I realized I didn't have enough cutouts. Like, how could I not? So I saw this little one. Now it is missing the cord here. What do you call that? The lace? It's missing the lace here, but I still decided to get it. This was $3.99. So um, I'm like, it's fine. It's just, I can't just find some lace and put it back in there. But I, I was, I was short on cutouts. And now I fill that hole in my closet with a lot of other holes. So I'm set. So here's the top. It is very, very short. I've literally just put in um, some spare shoelaces that I had and paired it with some black relax pants to you know kind of tone it down a little bit so i've also kept it very casual by putting on a pair of flat sandals with it and just make it a really like casual day look the top is dynamic enough so i didn't need to do a lot for the outfit i'm more trying to balance all that's happening with the top the crop top the lacing peekaboo right now i, I have it really tight so you're not seeing much of a peekaboo if i lost the bra and loosen the um the laces then i'd have more of that peekaboo action but for right now i think this is enough i've paired it with this little coach um shoulder bag in this vintage signature print this canvas bag and yeah so i've just kept it really casual toned down the top and balance balance it out more should i say so this is how i've styled it the jewelry's still out on <laughs> this stuff but you never know on a very hot day i might i might need this look <laughs> so this is how i've styled this little top next thing i got was these pair of pants i'm still looking for white i just want like a nice relaxed white um everything in my closet i just thrifted a pair of linen shirt and i think um because it had that like bone white type color i thought this would go perfectly with it as well it's a little blown out will it adjust maybe okay yeah and it has like some um like tan pinstripes going down it and i thought this would be excellent to be worn like full white full white look i mean it does have the little stripes giving it a little dimension i don't mind this is by evan picone yeah this is a size four again it's by evan picone they all you know i'm always looking at their suits whenever i go they're not usually in my size but um this is a size four so hopefully it fits because it, it doesn't have any loops but because it's just um you know, there are so many lines that I could take it in. So I decided, you know, I'd chance it. So that's the next thing that I got. So here are the pants and they do need a little nipping in at the waist, but this is exactly what I wanted. This is my linen shirt and I've just tucked it a little half tuck in these pants. Um, I put on these open toe Mary Janes and I love this. Just a nice little white um ecru white look and this is what this little vintage bag looks like if i just want to throw it on crossbody i'm just traveling with a few things this is how i'd wear it it's empty so it's not sitting as it would if it's like nice and weighty but yeah this is how i would style these pants or what i really wanted <laughs> these pants to do just nice relaxed fit all the way down and yeah that's what i wanted a nice straight leg relaxed fit pants so i'm glad that these worked out i'll you know it's just a little nip i need to do in the waist and that will be perfect but if i was going out out i'd definitely style it with my little loewe shoulder bag and yeah this is perfect for an all white summer look and i just love it it feels really good on it's not too heavy it's a nice soft material and the good thing is it's not gonna show any underwear underneath so this is exactly what i wanted the last thing I got, I'm sure you know what I got. Tell me in the comment section, comment below, if you know what the last item is. From you saw the come thrift with me, I think you know that I had to get this. I give you a hint, dress. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I didn't take the checkered, what do you call it? Is it checkered? Um, print, what do you call that? Is it checkered? I'm losing my mind. It doesn't feel like it's checkered. Um, gingham. Did, I didn't get the gingham print dress. It was a little too big. Um, gingham is all the rage for, you know, this summer, but it was a little too big, so I passed on that. What I got and could not pass on was this vintage dress. Again, this does have um, shoulder pads. This is by the brand, it's so, so weird where they put the label. This is by the brand Brioche California. This is what the tag looks like. But when you see it up close, just the, the stitching here, right? There's some stitching, let me get up. There's some stitching coming right across here, which, you know, really cinches the, um, the body. And I just, I'm just imagining this being really well fitted on me. There's like these little buttons right here. There is a little frill situation going on here. Listen, I love me an 80s dress, okay? <laughs> I don't know if I've said it recently, but 80s is like my, you know, favorite era to their farm. I'm, you know, very dynasty. I would walk around in those clothes right now every day. I love a puff sleeve. I love a drama. Um, but yeah, so this is the next piece that I got and um, the tag is still on it. So I did pay $10 for this, which for a vintage dress like this, absolutely. I've paid more for vintage dresses. So I definitely, definitely wanted to get this. And the green, I just love that. Like there's a mix of like sage and um, pistachio green in it that it jumps out. I love a green, so this is perfect. It's showing a little more blue um, on the camera compared to what I'm seeing here. But yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely. There's some, even though there's some notes of the green that I'm wearing today in here, it's showing up a lot more aqua there, which is strange. But yeah, this is the last thing that I got and I can't wait to try this on. Let's see how they fit. <laughs> so this is the vintage dress and it's a little roomy, but I still think it's a very good fit. Um, you can see the little ruffles here, the little buttons going down here. I just love this. I left the sleeves down just so you could see the length. As usual, I just pull the sleeves up. Um, I may still need to take it in a little bit just to make it fit a little closer when I pull them up, but I do love the silhouette. It does have that little shoulder pad action going on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just love that it's a nice little pencil skirt and by pushing up the sleeves, it just gives the, um, the silhouette an even more balanced look. So that's why whenever I get these, I always just, you know, make it a nice little three quarter sleeve because yeah, it just, I just love the shape of it and it's a nice thin it's like i think it was rayon um polyester blend so it's nice and lightweight so perfect for this summer knowing myself though i'd probably belt it so i've put on this little black belt just to cinch the waist in a little more give it a little more definition and grab this little black bag so this is how i'd style this little dress and i do love it I can't wait to wear it and it is such such a find so that's the last thing that I got and this was such a fun little haul for me. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite, what piece is your favorite. As well, if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love for you to join the family. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.